Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a video I've been wanting to make for a while to help reset some expectations about my journey, get myself on track, and also give myself the ability to move forward because I think I've painted myself into a bit of a corner and I wanna clarify some things. I wanna go over my journey up to this point and then also show how I'm gonna move forward from this to be better off. So when I started this whole journey in January of 2020, I was a terrible golfer. And you'll see my first course vlogs, I shot a million over, right? My goal was to see how good I could get. And I was able to get to a plus one by October 1st and kept going on that trajectory and was able to get that into a plus three in 2021. That's with some swing tweaks, doing the George Gankis program, all of those things. Now, where things kind of hit the rails a bit was I started playing tournaments in 2021 and kind of got exposed for the fact that my swing that I had built just wasn't good enough. I wasn't gonna be able to do nearly what I needed to do for my bigger goal with that swing and especially under the gun, it was horrible. My first couple tournaments, I was brutal because that swing was so timing based. Yeah, I could pull it off in my casual rounds and yeah, I could make things work, but it was never going to be the swing for the bigger goal. And my bigger goal is to become a professional golfer. I saw other golfers, especially out here on the, you know, when I was playing in the events out here, you know, there are guys like my coach, Max, Kevin Stinson, Michael Can, like there are players out here and I saw them play and I have tremendous respect for them in their games. And I just saw like, I don't have it. I don't have it right now in this current form. And that's what led me to working with my coach, Max, and rebuilding my game, essentially starting from scratch. Now, unfortunately, up to that point, because my learning curve was so steep, because my trajectory had been what it was, it put a sense of like unnecessary expectations and pressure on me to maintain this sort of level of growth, right? And that was something I struggled with a ton because up to that point, it was just like checking the boxes as I went. You know, it seemed like the progression was linear and I was just kind of doing my thing. I thought I was definitely further along down the path than I was. What clarified it really for me that that swing also wasn't gonna do it was that after I'd kind of got my bearings in tournaments a little bit, I shot one over in an event and finished in the top five, but saw the younger players that I was playing with who were college players and saw the caliber of their swing and just realized that it just wasn't, just wasn't it. So after that realization, I got to work and I've been nonstop since then, working on my body, working on my swing, working on my game. But in doing so and through showcasing my journey, I created this expectation that I had to be shooting lights out all the time or because my path was linear, I guess there was this expectation that I had to maintain that or that taking this step backwards meant I was trash or whatever. And, and, and it's, it was tough to deal with because it's, I just want to get better. I, I have no delusion as to where I am in the process. I have no delusion into thinking I'm better than I am. What I am after is trying to become the absolute best version of what I can be. And when I hit these roadblocks, I will pivot. I have pivoted. But until sometimes you need to hit the wall before you need to know if you need to make a choice. And me, I, guys, I'd never had a golf lesson until my coach Max. He was the first person to ever give me a lesson. And that was at 30 years old. I had, was very green to the process, was very green to everything. And I wanna kind of reset those expectations. I am not a plus three handicap anymore. I'm not. And I'm okay with that. I don't care. I don't do this to have a good handicap. Like I don't, I don't do this for anyone else. I don't, the, like I, no, nobody else forces me to get up at five in the morning every day so I can make this happen. I love this. This is, this is fun for me. This journey, the whole purpose of doing this is that I want to get better as a person. And the reason why I showcase it is because I enjoy making content of our own golf. I enjoy sh showing development. I enjoy this process. Like, I love it. I, I work with a lot of YouTubers. I'm a big fan of YouTubers. I'm a big fan of content creators. I like it. So this is fun for me. And 
it helps me track my progress. It helps me learn about the process. It helps me see things that I did before and why it failed, right? It, it, I, I have a very clear picture of why I was never going to become a good golfer in that realm. And I own the fact that it's my fault that these expectations were created in the first place. At that time, I was shooting good scores. I was going under par at Cultus almost every day. I shot minus six at Royal Wood, which is my Autoflex course vlog on here. I was shooting under par at other courses. I had what I thought the right data showing me that I was good enough. And relative to my goals, I was definitely not a plus three tournament golfer. Plus three casual golfer, for sure. And that was that self-awareness of knowing, okay, like I'm just not there. And I didn't double down on that swing or that approach because I knew it wasn't gonna work. That's fine, like I, I, I don't care what the handicap is. I have no self-esteem build up into what my handicap is. I just wanna get better. I just wanna do this better. When it comes to moving forward, what my handicap is now, what it is, like I'm just not gonna share it. And the reason why I'm not gonna share it is because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what my handicap is. It really doesn't. Because I need to get to a certain point to get to a plus six. So when I hit a plus six in tournaments, my, I'm gonna only count scores in tournaments, that's when you'll know what my handicap is because I'll share the Golf Canada report that exclusively in tournaments, this is what my handicap is. Why have I picked plus six? Because in my opinion, from looking at the landscape, looking at the caliber of players that play out here and the caliber of players that play on other tours, I think if you are not a plus six as an amateur, you are kind of delusional going into those events because I respect to the utmost the caliber of those players. I have no delusions into thinking that I am close yet. I know I'm not. But what I do know is that I, I am relentless in my pursuit of trying to figure this out. And I show up every day and will continue to show up every day to figure this out. And that's what's fun. That's what this is for. The whole point of this journey is to show that if you do anything with 100% of yourself, you will figure it out. And this is what I did in music. I just never documented it. When I was 18 years old, I didn't know how to plug in an RCA cable. I knew nothing about audio engineering. And by the time I was 24, I had a platinum credit on a Billboard number one album with Shawn Mendes as an engineer. So in six years, that was huge. You know, and I hadn't even started producing it in 18. So it's actually like, I, it was really even a shorter gap. So I just never showcased that journey. I never showcased my failures. I never showcased my wins. I just was able to rise and fall in complete privacy. And I realized too, through doing this and through showcasing my journey by showcasing the highs, but also showcasing the lows, I have no problem, guys. My number one video on my TikTok is me getting a quad. Like, I don't care. I'll show you guys the bad. I'll show you the good. But I want the room to fail and try. And I want the room to fail and try without having to care what my handicap is or where it puts me or where it ranks me. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. The only way I'm going to figure this out is if I can test with impunity and if I can just run towards this target and find what works and find what doesn't. And I've done this before in my life. So I know the process, I know the workflow. And I get a lot of criticism for how I do this. My rebuttal to this is like, these people haven't done what I've done. And that's fine, like I don't care. You do you, I do this for me. You go focus on your golf game. It's totally fine. So I just wanted to share this because I overall I think handicaps are stupid. I think it creates a weird like almost like social hierarchy as well in golf. Like for example, I get awesome DMs from a lot of you and I've had played golf with a, quite a few subscribers. But one of the things I noticed is that a lot of the DMs are prefaced with, hey man, would love to get around in, I'm out in your area, I'm a this handicap, but I'm lower like this or whatever. There's always this like caveat of like, I'm this handicap, but like, it's okay. 
Guys, I don't care what handicap you are. I don't. As long as you're a good person, good vibe to play with, I don't think anybody should care what handicap you are. It's not the point of golf. Some of my favorite people to play with have the highest handicaps imaginable. I don't care. I would rather just like connect as a human. Like it doesn't matter. All of our goals are relative in golf. Whether you want to get from a 10 to a five or a 20 to a 10 or whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's just the joy of being able to figure it out and pull it off for yourself. That's what this is all about. And when it comes to, you know, getting games with each other and all that, like, who cares what your handicap is? Let's just get out there and enjoy the fact that we get to play golf. That's the point. And if handicaps matter that much to you, then maybe you need to reevaluate your priorities in golf. Because I don't share those priorities and maybe I'm not the right person for you to watch content from. And that's okay. I just, I don't care what your handicap is. And when it comes to mine, when I start playing tournaments in the new year, I'm going to try things. I may shoot a million over. I may shoot a million under. But it, I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to figure it out. And I love the process of trying. And that's what this entire journey is all about. Me trying. And I, that is my favorite thing to do. That is what I'm going to keep getting up in the morning to do. I love this so much. And I'm not going to let some ranking number or whatever get in the way of that. I'm not going to let people's judgments of where they think I should or shouldn't be get in the way of that. I don't care. I don't do this for anyone else. I do this for me. So if that's not in alignment with you, no problem. I think there are plenty of other content creators for you to follow. If you are in alignment with that, welcome to Off Season 3. It's going to be awesome. I thank you so much for joining me on my journey, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.